Hello, welcome to this video. We're on Taylor series and we're trying to calculate the power series representation for some common functions. <clears throat> In the previous video, we calculated the Taylor series for e to the x and for sine of x. So in this video, we'll look at cosine x and then we'll make a collection of all of our known power series. There should be a list of about seven. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We have cosine x and the process is in the first column to take a bunch of derivatives until we can find the pattern. So generally five is good. So cosine's derivative is negative sine and negative sine's derivative is cosine, negative cosine, sorry. Negative cosine's derivative, positive sine of x. And then sine x's derivative is cosine. And we're back to where we started at. If we take the next one, it'll be negative sine x. <clears throat> In the second column, what we do is we evaluate at x equals a. In this case, a is 0. So we just plug a 0 into these. Cosine of 0 is a 1. But the sine of 0 is a 0. Cosine of 0 is a 1, but there's a negative in front, so negative 1. Sine of 0 is 0. So we're losing all of the odd terms. And in the even terms, we're going back and forth between 1 and minus 1. Fifth derivative at zero is zero. Now, this isn't the coefficient. Remember now, the coefficient, this is actually the numerator of the coefficients. Uh, each coefficient has uh, a denominator where you divide by n factorial. So that's the third column. We're going to divide each of these by n factorial. Remember, zero factorial is defined to be one. All right. So one divided by one is one. And then we have a zero negative 1 over 2 factorial, then a 0, 1 over 4 factorial, and then a 0. So we're getting the even um, factorials in the denominator, and we're alternating between 1 and minus 1. Our job is to be able to find the pattern. Now these guys are the coefficients on x, and so there is no x term, there is no cube term, there is no fifth degree term, there's a constant term, 1, and then we have minus 1 over 2 factorial times x squared. No cubic term. Then 1 over 4 factorial times x to the fourth. And then we have our um, no x fifth term. We only have the even powers. So formula-wise, a formula that represents even is taking 2 times any uh, any number in, where n is, a, is a, 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 the counting number. So we have the nth derivative at 0 divided by n factorial times x to the n. The formula for what's inside of the summation of a generic Maclaurin series, it is, for this case, um, negative 1 over n, uh, negative 1 to the n over 2 n factorial, and that's times x to the 2 n. So we did it for cosine of x. But we still need to know what x's make this converge. For that, we go to the ratio test. Put in a put in n plus one in place of n, so that those guys become two n plus twos, and then divide by a sub n, which is flipping. So you're multiplying on top here and dividing on here with the other term, and so then you you break off the for two n plus two. You got to break off the two n plus two and the two n plus one to have two n factorial to be able to cancel. Uh, for the x to the two n plus two, you got to break it up to be x to the two n times x to the two, so that you can cancel. Upon canceling, you have x squared over this cubic, I mean, this quadratic polynomial in n. x is a constant, and n is going to infinity. So no matter what constant x is, this limit is going to be 0. When you're doing the ratio test and you get a 0, that's always going to be less than 1, no matter what the x is. And so that means it's convergent for all x. The interval convergence is the entire real line. And so we have the interval convergence being the entire real line. And this represents then the seventh known function that we basically have in our library that we know the power series representation for. These are all Maclaurin series. We didn't call them Maclaurin series back before when we were doing the geometric series, but it's centered at zero. It's a Maclaurin series. And then uh, from the Maclaurin series, we took its derivative, centered at zero, Maclaurin series. Uh, for, for the geometric series, we took the derivative, 
and then for the um, go back to the geometric series, uh, alter it into be one plus x in the denominator, and then integrate it. We have natural log of one plus x. Um, technically, you can converge at one, but definitely not a negative one. Just look at the function, try to plug a negative one into that. Um, and then we went back to the uh, geometric series and altered it to be one over one plus x squared and then integrated it so that we can have arc tan x, um, the power series for arc tan x. And these are all Maclaurin series. They're all powers of x. Um, um, we have the interval of convergence. That's what IOC stands for afterwards. And so this was in a previous lecture. Um, and now in this set of lecture, this lecture series here, we're looking at these, these um, more common functions. We have e to the x, we have sine x, and now we have cosine x. Uh, these guys happen to be all um, convergent for all x, the integral convergence of the entire real line. And so this is our library of functions that we can find the uh, representation for. And we will use this then in many applications. We'll be able to put two of these guys together by multiplying. We'll be able to take two of these guys, divide one by the other. We'll be able to find limits by um, using the power series. We'll be able to uh, find a sum by using the power series. Um, there could be more that we, if you look at a standard textbook, there might be a few more functions that could be added to this list. Um, the binomial series is the main uh, next one that, that should be done, but, but um, maybe we'll do that in an example from, um, you know, in another another video or something like that so um, that's it for now thanks for watching um, coming up next applications where can we use this at and why do we care all right my name is Nakaya Rimmer I'm here to help you through this this uh, journey of Calc 2 and um, if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask comment down below like and subscribe and uh, I will see you in the next video take care